Hi, I'm Yvonne with the America First social media team, and I'm here today at Sequest with... Derek. Derek. Derek, what do you do for Sequest? I'm the guest service manager. Awesome. We've got a really exciting time for you ahead, and I'm so pumped for you guys to see the aquarium. We're going to go through and give you an exclusive behind-the-scenes look to show you what you can use your America First Visa credit or debit card for all the different discounts that you've got in here. So we're starting in... The entrance, this is where you would come in to buy your tickets. Um, there's two different types of tickets that we have a discount for, and that's specifically the day pass as well as the annual pass. Do you want to talk to me about both of those? Of course. So the day entry gets you in for a full hour, so until we close that night, while the year-long entry gets you your admissions for the whole year at any of our locations. That's awesome. What are the hours of Sequest? So Sequest are open from 10 to 9 weekdays. Sunday, it's 12 to 6. Oh, perfect. So really, it's available anytime you want to come down, get one of those two options, and you'll be set. So we're actually going to be giving away one of each of those. The first person to come down and use the code AFCU Rocks will actually get this family annual membership. So this is an awesome, awesome giveaway. You'll want to come down here and snag this. Like I said, if you're the first person to come down and use the code AFCU Rocks, you'll just check in at the front desk. They'll have this ready for you. If you are actually not the first person, but the second person, we've got something for you too. So we're giving away a day pass. So this day pass is good, like you said, for you to get into the aquarium all day long. So come down, second person to come down gets this using the code AFCU Rocks. So you want to be sure and grab those. Uh, we're going to walk through the aquarium, take you guys along. If you want to check it out with us, we'd love to have you. Uh, the first thing we're going to talk about as far as the discounts go is there's tokens that you can get here at the aquarium to actually feed tons of the different animals. Um, so Derek is going to tell us what we've got as far as like tokens. You want to show them what it looks like? So these are our activity tokens. These are good for animal feedings. They also have a $2 value in our gift shop. You can use them to get souvenirs, get food items in the Caribbean, all sorts of fun. That's awesome. So we're going to use these. Come on with us. Good. In here, we've got our first station that you can use your token. So this is a feeding station. Here is for the Caymans, our crocodilian friends, and here is a meaty snack for them. To use a token, it's like a quarter machine you see in the mall. Take one token, put it on in, crank it. You get one thing of food out. You get my meaty pellet friend. You kind of plop, see where my Cayman friends are hanging out, and then you toss them back a treat. They go out, snag it, have all sorts of fun. And the fish like it too. And all of our different acorns, you can recycle, and the blue recycling bins. Okay, so I know you've told me before, but the food is only specifically for the animals located near that uh, station, correct? That is correct. The food is listed for the animal next to that exhibit. You don't want to be taking Cayman food and trying to give it to, like, the tortoise. That makes sense. I know there's one here right behind us, so what's this? This is the Paku. These are some of my favorite friends. They're actually omnivorous like us and cousins to piranhas. They love fruit and veggies, and they go crazy for tomatoes. And you're just in luck, you got one. Oh, awesome. Give it a shot, toss it on in, and watch them go crazy. Oh my I told you they love those veggies. find it eventually. Eventually. <laughs> there we go. This goes into the recycle? Exactly. Okay. So how often do you, that was fresh. Yes. So how often does that get refilled? We'll continuously ch exchange it throughout the day, making sure we have fresh food, it's filled to appropriate level. If it's out for too long, we'll switch on out to make sure things are keeping refrigerated. Awesome. So how many of these different feeding stations are there? There's more than 10 in, throughout the aquarium. Oh, perfect. And then you talked about the discount. We mentioned the 25% off. Yes. With America First card. So you said that there's other ways that you can use the tokens also? That is correct. So each token, like I said, it's $2 value. So you can take these up front to the gift shop or back in Cribbon, use them for food items, toys, all sorts of souvenirs. And then you can use them in the aquarium, like I said, for feeding the animals, all sorts of fun. How tokens go, we tend to sell them in bundles. So you can get like a bundle of four with the AFCU discount for $8. 10 for 16, 20 for 30, 50 for 60. The more you buy, the more you save? Exactly. 
That's awesome. You're going to want quite a few of them because there's so many things you can use them for. I at least get 10 if you're coming through. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so we're going to head over here. We're going to be right outside of the iguana station, but we're not going to be showing you an iguana. We're actually showing you something else that's pretty cool. It's different, and it's actually new to this sequest. I'm going to turn you over to our other social media team member, Mason. Hey, guys. It's Mason, and we're here with Hadley. So, Hadley, what do you do here at the aquarium? So I'm actually our mammal manager here at SeaQuest, and that just kind of means that I deal with our mammals, including our little kinkajou right here. He's super cute. He's awesome. Um, so there's a bunch of different animal interactions that you can do here at SeaQuest, and you can also do one here with our kinkajou. Super cute guy. Um, so tell us a little bit more about the kinkajou. What, what should we know about him? So other than the fact that he is probably the cutest animal that you will ever see, these guys are some of the most interesting animals that I've ever had the opportunity to work with, and I'm glad that I have had that opportunity. These guys are nocturnal. They're almost exclusively frugivores, which is just a fancy word for saying that they eat a whole lot of fruit, and he sure does love his fruit. His very favorite is bananas. He loves bananas. I, well, he loves bananas, and he loves napping, as you can see. These guys are nocturnal, hence why he's fast asleep right now. Well, he looks like he's having a good time regardless, you know. So what are some other um, interactions that you can do here at Sequest? What are some of the more popular ones? Well, we've got lots and lots of interaction opportunities here. We have opportunities to feed our caiman, our iguanas, our parakeets, our stingrays, our, even our sharks. Pretty much the opportunities are endless. Well, when you guys come to Sequest, definitely come and check that out and see what interactions they have to offer. But we're going to keep going and get this uh, video, keep going on it. Um, so I'm going to give this back to Yvonne. Here she is. Okay, wasn't that so fun? I wish he was awake a little bit more, but it makes sense since he likes to sleep a lot. I'm going to give the microphone back over to Derek. We're going to actually walk to the birthday party room. So along the way, we'll kind of show you what, what you would see, right? Exactly. So first thing we're going to do is head over to our Cali Coast. Now, in this room, you can expect to see our tide pool with our starfish, anemones, even a lobster and some little crabs. And you're able to pet any of these things, correct? That is correct. Any animal you can safely reach in Sequest, you can safely pet one or two fingers down their backs. We even have my friend Octavia over here. She's our giant Pacific octopus hanging out up front. As we head over to Creatures of Light, you can see our blue blubber jellyfish. These are our cute little squishies. And in Creatures of Light, some of my favorite friends to see are our shark egg sacs. These come from our bamboo sharks. If you look closely on this egg, you can see a baby shark starting to develop. And down here is a shark that's already hatched, but is still attached to his yolk. And of course, we have our axolotl friends. You can think of these guys as a relative to a salamander, but a bit cooler in my mind. They're kind of like a superhero, like Wolverine. If they lose a leg, they can grow it back as long as they're in colder climates. If you guys head this way, we also have a fun friend, the glowing fish. These guys are GMOs, genetically modified organisms. These guys have been modified in a lab to glow in the dark, well, underneath blue infrared light. And as we head this way, we'll be heading over to Pirate Ship Cove, where we have our birthday party room. Hello, everyone. Welcome. My name is Rachel, and we're going to talk about birthday parties for a little bit. So let's go into the party room. All right, so this is the party room at Sequest, and it's a very popular place to be because you guys do a ton of birthday parties here. Now, if you'll tell us, what do people get with a birthday party at Sequest? So with the birthday party, you get this room for a two-hour slot. We set out tables for you, chairs. We have tablecloths. You get two animal interactions. So say you want to see our big friend Norman the tortoise or one of our talking parrots. Storm and Norman. Storm and Norman. You might see him later on. He likes to storm about. He's a bit of a party crasher. He loves this room to say hi to the little ones. I don't think any little kids are sad when Norman crashes their party, right? Oh, no. Everyone's always happy when he says hi. Yeah. 
Um, with a birthday party, so normally it's $199, but with your discount, including tax, it's $106.95. That gets you everything included. You can even pay extra to get a pirate or a mermaid to come on in and give you some glitter tattoos. Nice. And so with that birthday party package, you want to make sure that you show your America First Visa or debit card when you are booking that so that you get half off for that discount. And we also have something very exciting also today is that we're going to do a giveaway. So the next person to come and book their party and use the discount AFCU birthday will get a birthday party package for free. So make sure that you are quick to call in to call Sequest and use that discount code because there's only one, but when it's gone, you'll get half off your party package. And that is for six party guests plus their immediate family, correct? That is correct. Awesome. So if you're looking for a great place to have a birthday party, make sure you come to Sequest and use your America First discount. So I'm going to turn this back over to Yvonne, and she's going to take you to go see some more fun things. Oh, what a great idea to have a birthday here. There's so many fun things to do and see. So I'm going to go with Derek and show you a little bit more of the place. Um, directly out here, I'll pass the time over, and you let us know. All right, so we're back in Pirate Ship Cove. We have some of our more slippery friends. These are our eels and our linefish hiding off the top corner. Directly across them, we have Captain Quest's ship. Inside, we have a variety of fun friends as well. But some of my favorite is the Tangs. You'll know him as Mr. Bubbles from Nemo. Down there, we also have the Hawaiian State Fish. His name's a bit of a mouthful. It's the Huma Huma Nuka Nuka Apua'a. You'll see him swimming right across in the center way, going towards the barrels. Then as we move along, we're going to be moving towards Egypt. This is where you'll find some more of our scaly friends, like Rango, our veiled chameleon, or the sleeping Storm and Norman, our Salcotta tortoise. So can you tell me what in this exhibit you would be able to hold? Holding something you need to talk to a Sequest team member, someone in blue, but we can normally help you to say hi to Baja, you can say hi to all sorts of friends, really. It's just depending on whether or not they're shedding, when they've last eaten, different things like that. But anyone you can reach, you can pet. Everyone in here, you can always pet them down their backs. I suggest saying hi to the silky chickens. They are soft as silk. Little fluff balls. And I see that these guys are someone that you can feed. There's like a feeding station that you would just use your token to feed them. Absolutely. If you'd like, we can give it a try. What do you want to do with their food is you're going to put it in the palm of your hand. They'll eat right out of your hand and have a good time. What am I holding? What am I holding? <laughs> well, you're eating a bit of dried grubs. But don't worry, you won't have it for very long. Okay. They're dried. Yes. Okay. They're already dead. Don't Okay, looking at these was a bit of a shock, if I, if I would say that. Oh my gosh, okay. But look at all your new friends. Oh my word. Okay, good job, guys. While you have them now, you should give them a good pet. They are super soft. How old are they? These guys... I don't quite remember. They're only a couple months old, if I know right. Absolutely. Okay, so we've made it to the aviary. Is that correct? That is correct. Okay. We have the parakeets and lowerkeets over here in the aviaries. Awesome. So this is actually an area I'm going to meet up with Hadley. Um, you can go in here. Is that right? Oh, yeah. So we have our aviaries, like Derek mentioned, our lorikeets and our parakeets. This right here is our parakeet aviary. So these guys are really, really neat, and we do allow guests to go in with a team member to interact with our birds. It's really, really fun. Awesome. I'm actually going to talk about another one of the discounts that we have to offer with your card, your America First Visa credit or debit card. You've got animal whisper tours. Tell me what that is. So our animal whisper tours are actually really neat. They are a backstage tour of kind of our well our back room where we do all of our food prep we do a whole lot of our just behind the scenes stuff that you wouldn't really think about when you're walking through the front house of the area you know that's awesome with your card you get 50% off of that tour 
That's awesome. So if you guys want to use your card, do that. Get an extra exclusive look. That's a great way to do that. Why is it called a whisper tour? Do you have to be quiet? You don't have to be quiet. I mean, the back house is usually pretty noisy. That's where we keep a lot of our parrots when they're not doing interactions and not doing our birds shows. So the parrots alone, pretty darn loud. But it's just kind of a little play on animal whispers because we get our guests up close with our animals. That's awesome. Back to the birdcage. Where do the birds come from? Do, are they born here? Are they brought in? Actually, it's kind of a mixture of the two. We do have a breeding population of our parakeets, so they actually, and our lorikeets, where a lot of our birds here have been born in house, but a lot of our birds actually come in as donations. That's awesome. And then um, you said that there were, are there two different types of birds in here? Mm -hmm. So in this specific side of the aviaries, we just have parakeets, but we've got a whole bunch of different colors. It's really neat. But then in our other side of the aviaries, we have our lorikeets, which are a little bit bigger, a little weirder. They're kind of funky. They're really just dorky birds. <laughs> so when you go inside, do you, you get handed some food and then they, they just come to you? Think Disney princess. So you get to come sit down on the benches, and we have our team member give you food, and all the birds usually will just come flock, like a Disney princess. At least that's how I feel when I do it. <laughs> that's awesome. Well, thanks for showing me that. I know there's some more exciting things ahead. Should we walk to those? Let's go. Okay. If you want to follow us, there's a new um, animal, relatively new as far as I know, that I'm sure you'd be really excited to see if you came down. I'll have Hadley tell us a little bit more about it. Okay, what do we have here? So here we have one of our two-toed sloths. He's one of our newer additions here at SeaQuest. We've had him since about March. And as you can see, he, he's just curled up in a ball. These guys are nocturnal, so he does sleep a whole lot. Are you able to pet them if you go? Can you go inside? Yeah. So we do sloth interactions throughout the day with our guests and they're able to actually go inside. They have the opportunity to pet the sloth, to even feed him. Of course, it's at the animal's discretion, but he's a really great interaction animal and he loves participating. Oh, that is so cool. What do they eat? So two-toed sloths are kind of funny. They're pretty exclusively herbivores and his very favorite snack right now is butternut squash. Oh, yeah. He's very healthy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Big time. Loves his butternut squash, and he also really likes just green veggies, especially, like, leafy greens. Loves them. That is so cool. So between him and the kinkajou that we saw with Mason, those are the two newest exhibits here? The kinkajou, our sloths, as well as our Asian small clawed otters. That's so great. I'm going to turn the microphone over to you. Do you want to walk us through the rest until we get to the Caribbean Cove? Thank you. All right, so here we have our trout and sturgeon tank. This is one of our more popular attractions. Our guests absolutely adore feeding these guys. They're really, really interesting fish, especially the sturgeon. So the sturgeon are just crazy to look at. They look prehistoric. They're probably my favorite water life, you know, guys. I mean, <laughs> Actually, okay, that's a hard one. They're my favorite freshwater fish, for sure. When it comes to saltwater, we get into different territory. But as far as freshwater fish, definitely my favorite. I mean, how could you not love them? They're awesome. This is one that you could actually feed too, right? Definitely. These guys, we have our sturgeon snacks and our trout snacks. They're two different foods because these guys kind of have different feeding methods, which you're gonna have to see to believe. It's really cool, especially the sturgeon. The trout typically like to feed more higher up on the water level, whereas the sturgeon kind of are more bottom feeders. And then you had said previously that one of their food sinks to the bottom and one floats to the top, which aligns with their feeding patterns, right? Exactly, so each food is developed specifically for that species of fish for nutrition, you know? They have different nutritional needs. And so the sturgeon food sinks, so they're able to get it better than the trout food does. That's awesome. What else do we have in this area? We have one of our up and coming exhibits that everybody's gonna need to stay tuned to see its new inhabitants. Actually, 
I think we have a little sneak peek. If you guys look real close, you guys can see some little fish in there. Yeah. So those are archer fish. Okay. These guys are brand new and they are going to be a hit. These guys are really, really cool fish. They actually project water out of their mouth. Yeah, in order to catch food. So they knock prey items kind of off balance, out of the air, or off of a branch, a leaf, whatever, into the water and then eat it. Oh my goodness, that's so cool. And then we've got other neat things on the way to Caribbean Cove. Oh yes, we've got a few different saltwater tanks with a bunch of different marine life. We've got our garden eels as well as some really pretty coral. We've got our SPS tank with a bunch of really cool tropical fish. This is actually one of my very favorite tanks in the aquarium. I love it. And all the fish in here have really big personalities. Okay, quick question for you. The tanks look so clean. How do you keep them so clean? We have a whole bunch of filtration systems on them as well as everything that you can see in the back of house. So when you're on an animal whisper tour, you can get a real up close look at all of the work that goes into keeping these tanks as nice and clean as they are. Okay, so we're, we're headed right into Caribbean Cove um, where we're gonna meet another one of our team members. So if you guys wanna follow me, I'll show you. This is the cove that's actually sponsored by America First Credit Union. Um, and this is where the stingrays are. So we've got another team member, I'll take you to her. All right, we are joining Becca from the social media team and she will be asking a few questions and you'll get to know a little bit more about our stingrays. Hi, I'm Becca from the America First social media team and we're here at the America First Credit Union Caribbean Cove. And you are? I'm Austin, I'm the marine lead here at Sequest. Awesome, so we're just gonna learn a little bit about snorkeling with the stingrays. So how much does something like this normally cost? So normally about $30 a person. All right, so normally $30 a person, but America First members get 25% off, so remember that. Um, so how many stingrays are normally in this tank? So usually around 50 to 60 uh, stingrays with five, uh, five different types, uh, and then we have uh, about four different types of sharks as well. So cool, and how long do you get to snorkel with the stingrays? So yeah, the whole interaction is about 45 minutes long uh, and about 30 minutes in the tank. Awesome. All right. And my last question is, how big do the stingrays get? So when they're first born, they're about the size of like a ravioli. Uh, they come out really small and then they can get up to about six feet in like width. So pretty big. Awesome. So make sure to come check this out and have a fun interaction. Um, and then we're just going to feed the stingrays real quick. So if you want to take one out and try to feed it. Yeah. <gasps> That's so fun. Okay, <laughs> we're going to hand this back to you, Yvonne. All right, that's a really cool opportunity. If you want to swim with stingrays, I mean, where else are you going to have that opportunity? And you get to feed them, 45-minute experience. So perfect for summertime. If you're looking for something to do, come to Sequest. There's so much to do and so many fun things to see. We are headed to something that I'm really excited about to show you. Um, it's what's called a fish pedicure. If you haven't heard of that, I'm going to take you over to another one of our America First team members so that you can find out a little bit more about what it entails um, and see the cool things that it does. So come with me. All right, I'm going to turn the time over to Hannah and she's going to talk to you a little bit more about the fish pedicures. Hi guys, so I'm over here at the fish pedicures with Ariel and I'm actually a little bit nervous. So tell me about this. We, are these fish gonna bite me? How do they clean off my feet? Absolutely not, so it's more like a vacuum, so no teeth. A vacuum? Okay, so does it hurt? Nope, so it, well actually kind of tickle, actually. Tickle? I can do a tickle, that's fair. Okay, so we have a 25% off discount for this fish pedicure when you use your America First Visa credit or debit card at the front desk. We can look at our pricing when we get in here, but what's my process to get into this tub? So first you're gonna take a seat, take off your socks and shoes, and then you're good to dunk your feet in. And just go for it. 
All right, let's go for it. Just a one, two, three. All right. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Okay, you're right. It does tickle. Tickle is a very good word for it. <laughs> okay, so we have that 25% off discount for this, but what does the pricing start at? So for non members, it's going to start at $14.95. And then as far as staying here, how long are we in this pedicure for? So we'll be here for 15 minutes. 15 minutes of tickling, I can do that. <laughs> All right, and then you guys watching, I need you to leave a bunch of comments because you don't need a $25 or 25% discount if you win a free one. And five of our commenters are going to win a free fish pedicure. So make sure that you're commenting because this is pretty crazy, if I'm being honest. So tell me about these fish. What are they? So they are called doctor fish. They get that name. So they actually use them in Western medicine to um, treat psoriasis as well as a couple other skin diseases. Awesome, so these little guys are employed all over the place. Professional ticklers. Okay, I'm going back to Yvonne. <laughs> Thanks, Hannah, I hope you're enjoying that pedicure, that's pretty awesome. If you're not as adventurous as Hannah, there's actually something else that you could try. It's the, the hand pedicure. So if you put your hand in with these fish, they will attract to your hand and they will tickle. If you look, there's sort of some people participating. Um, and so this is a little bit uh, on the calmer side for those that aren't as adventurous. And either one, this particular experience is a part of your ticket. So if you come in and you wanna do this and you don't wanna spend the extra for the other experience, you can do this for free. It's available for anybody to put their hand in. Um, we also, if you'll notice, uh, support this area. So just take a shout out to America First when you come in. If you want to take a selfie or something and post it to social media, it'd be awesome for us to see that. Um, and we'd love to see you having a good time at Sequest. So we're going to wrap this up, finish off the exhibit. There is one more area um, if you want to follow me. It's pretty popular, so um, if you want to come in, you'll see that it's the area where the sharks are. And as Derek said earlier, if you can reach it, you can pet it. So this is a really cool experience to be able to say that you pet a shark. When in your life can you say that? If you come to Sequest, you'll be able to add that to your um, list of cool things you've done in your life. I know there is one particular shark in this tank that hovers towards the bottom. Um, you won't want to try to pet that one just because that one's a little bit um, not as friendly. And so if you can touch the ones that are more towards the top, that's where you'll be able to get that cool experience. All right. So I hope you have enjoyed our tour of Sequest and learning about all of the different discounts that America First offers. Be sure to use your credit card or your debit card from America First to get those great discounts. We've got discounts, like I said, from day passes and annual passes all the way to tokens, getting the 25% off, being able to feed all of the different animals just will add to the experience that you have. Um, but there is one more discount I'd like to tell you about, and that is if you use your America First card in the gift shop. So we end up in the gift shop, and you're actually able to use your America First card to get 25% off of anything in the gift shop. So if you want a stuffed animal or t-shirts or toys or anything to kind of commemorate your visit here at Sequest, you'll be able to get 25% off using your card. So there's a bunch of different ways to save. We'd love it if you came down, used your card, got the discounts, and really enjoyed a fun day with your family or your friends. Like I said, it's a perfect summer activity. Now that school is out, you'll be able to enjoy all these fun things with, uh, with those friends and family. So we appreciate you sticking around with us and hope that you had a good time. Don't forget to use those codes that we mentioned during the video to be able to 
hopefully get yourself either a free annual pass or a free day pass or even a birthday party if that's something that interests you. So be sure to watch the video and leave those comments. You can even get fish pedicures and we hope that we are able to add to your experience here at Sequest and thanks again for joining us.